of storms. The only thing we should do as believers, as Christians, that can help us to scale through the storms is to remember that we have a big God. The storm can be so big, the challenges can be so terrifying, the troubles can be so shaking, but there is a God that is bigger than the storm. There is a God that is bigger than the challenges. There is a God that is bigger than the troubles of life. Can we make a joyful noise to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords? Can we worship Him for whom He is and for what He alone can do? Welcome to our moments with the Lord. I still remain your friend and sister, Sister Isioma Uchi. It is my pleasure and honor coming your way again today. Remember that every moment you spend in God's presence is a time of renewing and a time of refreshment. Hallelujah. Can you please make this confession as you mean it? Say, I'm whom God says I am. I am what God says I am. I am not what the world says or what my enemy says I am. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll be seeing a topic today that says the storms of life. Sweet Holy Spirit, we have come to your presence to hear your word. Speak through me and circumcise our hearts to accept your word, that our lives will be transformed in Jesus' name. Amen. What are storms? Storms are challenges. Storms are mountains. Storms are troubles that come into one's life without invitation. No one invited storms, but storms just come. Because most times, storms are inevitable. The storms of life. The storms of life can come in the life of Christians, non-Christians, believers, believe non-believers or born again. That is the storms of life. It does not say you are not a Christian and as such, it will not visit you. But the main concern of what we are going to be saying today is, what should we do in season of storms, in season of challenges, in seasons of troubles? Job said, a man born by a woman has a few days in life to spend, but days are full of trouble. What are we supposed to do in the days of trouble, in the days of storms? Since we know that our world, the life we live, is full of storms. You know, oftentimes rain starts falling without no one inviting rain. And at times when rain comes, it comes with storms and there's shaking. At times you have snows in the European parts and most times the snows come with storms or else storms. No one invites them. But most times when these storms come, they come with shaking, blowing. Everyone looks for a place to hide themselves, to protect themselves. And so the same thing, in the days of storms, in the days of challenges, we all need protection to hide ourselves, to be able to overcome the storms of life. In the days of storms, the only thing we should do as believers, as Christians, that can help us to scale through the storms is to remember that we have a big God. The storm can be so big, the challenges can be so terrifying, the troubles can be so shaking, but there is a God that is bigger than the storm. There is a God that is bigger than the challenges. There is a God that is bigger than the troubles of life. Let's see what the Bible tells us in the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 29 and 31. It's all about the story of Jesus when he was walking on the water. And the disciples saw him and they were terrified. But 29 says, and Jesus is not talking. He says, and the said, come. 
When Peter was coming down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus because Jesus asked him to come. And Peter was so bold, coming, he asked confidence in the Lord, and he was coming. But something happened. Ted says, but when he saw the wind blow terrors, he was afraid. And that is how these storms come most time in our lives. They come with they come with wind. And Peter was shaking and terrifying because he saw the wind that was coming with the storm. And immediately, Jesus immediately he began to sink. He cried, saying, "Lord, save me!" And immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and catch him and said unto him, O thou little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? When the storms of life comes, most times they make us to shake out of our faith. They begin to make us to doubt the power of God. They begin to make us ask ourselves, are we sure we can scale through? But the word of God today is speaking to us. It says, in that storm, do not look at the storm. Do not look at the size of the storm. Do not look how the storm is coming. Do not look at the weight of the storm. But look up to Jesus. Look up to the God that is bigger than the storm. And immediately will be able to scale through. Hallelujah. The storms of life can be so terrifying. But one thing is sure, with Jesus on our side, without doubting, we are going to scale through. I pray the Lord will help us, that as men are listening, every storms we are passing through in our lives, that the Lord will give us the grace to overcome the storms. Most time, these storms might come because they want to teach us lessons. At times, the storms of life teaches us to be grateful to appreciate God, to be faithful. And I believe that the word of God is real. The word of God will see us through and deliver us from every storms of life. In Jesus' name, amen. The moment has come for us to rededicate our lives to Christ Jesus. Can we please say these prayers together wherever you are listening? Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me all my wrongs and deeds. I'm a sinner whom you have come to die for. I say sorry for all the sins I've committed. I accept you today into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. I say bye-bye to the works of the enemies. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Congratulations, beloved, for that word of faith you have prayed. I pray the Lord will give us the grace to finish well in Jesus' name. But please, I must urge you, look for a living church, a Bible church, fellowship with a bedroom, study God's word, and the Holy Ghost to lead us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks to everyone that has subscribed. And for those that are yet to subscribe, God bless us. Please do not fail to share the videos to your friend and help us to evangelize the good news of God, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you and God bless you. I love you, but God loves you more than I do. Amen.